guys, so it is finally time for the video that everybody is doing now, which is the end of year collection flip through. So I have a lot of binders. As you can see, I have six collect books, then I have five A5 binders, and then I have nine big A4 binders. I started my collection in about June 2020, so I collect a lot of groups, I collect a lot of different stuff in different ways, and I'm really excited to like go through and show you guys everything. So make sure that you've got a drink. I have a cup of tea in my cute new rainbow mug. Uh, yeah, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's, uh, let's settle in for the full collection flip through. So the first binder that we're going to go through is this little strawberry collect book, which I think is super, super cute. This was the first collect book that I ever got. Um, and I keep my girl group collections in here, so I don't collect any girl groups, like, fully. You know, there's a lot of girl groups that I listen to and that I stand, so I like to have a few of the photo cards. So, yeah, that's what we have in here. I'll flip this around so we can see it better. So, we start with some Luna cards, and I have some Kim Lip stuff. I will say that I got all of these before, um, like, everything happened with the boycott and all that. But yeah, I love Kim Lip. I'm really excited to continue like supporting her with Odd Eye Circle and Artemis and all of that. But yeah, I just, I love these cards. These are some of my favorite Kim Lip cards. So yeah, I decided that I would keep them and collect them. Then I have a couple of Itzy cards. So I have a Ryujin and a Yeji, because they are my two biases in Itzy. Um, I have a couple of Red Velvet Yeri um, birthday cards. Uh, I saw Red Velvet earlier this year, and just, yeah, I love them. I really, really do. And Yeri's birthday cards are immaculate. I would like to collect some more of her cards, actually, but that's, that's a goal for next year. And then we have my Le Seraphim cards. So I was actually collecting Casuar like, fully, but I just found that, like, Le Seraphim are quite a difficult group to collect for me. Um, so, yeah, this is the, just the stuff that I kept. Um, not a lot, but I'm going to keep getting, I think, a couple of cards per release. I know I don't have anything for Unforgiven yet, but that is something, again, that I want to work on in the new year. So there's not a lot in here, but there's plenty of room to, like, grow and expand, which is something that I want to do, because I really like my little girl group collection. I think this binder's super, super cute, and yeah, it's just a nice way to, to have some of the girlies that I like. So my next collect book is this cute little Karomi collect book, and I keep my Woods collection in here. So for Woods, I just collect like a few cards per release, uh, not even from every release actually, but I quite like this collection actually. Woods just does like so many photo cards that I didn't want to collect everything, but I just, I love his solo music a lot. Wow, this, this glare. We are not loving that. These pages are kind of like wrinkly, which is the one thing that I don't really like about this binder. But aside from that, I do think it's very cute. I think he fits really nicely in this Kuromi binder. Um, the whoops BCs are like some of my favorite cards ever. Like they're just super, super, super cute. Um, so yeah, I have stuff from equal whoops set. Uh, and then I actually don't have anything from Only Lovers, uh, which is kind of crazy because that is actually my favourite Woods release, and also contains my favourite song ever of his, which is Chaser. But I wasn't really a huge fan of those cards, so I do have a copy of the album, but I don't have the cards anymore. Um, but yeah, then I have some of his like colourful trauma stuff. Um, and again, I would pretty like to get some more things. Um, not too sure what the future is going to look like for my little Woods collection, since he is enlisting, uh, unfortunately, but for now, I like the way it is. So this is my last collect book that isn't part of like a larger collection, so it's my little Care Bears collect book, which this is also what I, I take this binder with me if I'm like traveling anywhere, but this houses like just some miscellaneous cards. So we start with Extinary Heroes and this super, super cute Gowan card. I used to collect my top three for Xenary Heroes, which was Gaon, Juyon, and Jungsu, but I found it way too difficult, so I downsized and just kept this one Gaon card, because I think he's so cute. 
then some extra NCT cards of members that I don't collect. So I have Kun's Awaken the World card, I have Catboy Hendry, one of my favourite photo cards ever. Uh, I have a Jaehyun sticker card, Jungwoo's uh, Universe card, which I love because I just, I, I love his hair, this is one of my favourite hair colours that Jungwoo's ever had. Then we have the Doje Jung Unit card, and then we have a few Wanus Hwanung cards. So I did collect Hwanung fully, but then I downsized that collection. Yeah, just kept like a few of my favourite cards. Uh, a little pink Hwanung, like, I will never give this up. This one's so, so cute. So yeah, I didn't keep too many cards, but just, just a few. And that's why I have my like miscellaneous binder. Moving on to A5 binders, I'm going to start with the... Well, this is actually this is the newest binder in my collection. So this is what I'm calling my Boys Planet binder. And it basically houses ZB1 and then any other like post Boys Planet groups that I decide to collect. So we have this super super cute Gunyuk freebie on the front. And then obviously we start with Zero Base 1. I collect Jiung and Gonuk, like, fully, all their album cards, um, but for the digipacks, just to sort of make a nice layout, I decided I wanted to collect top four, so I'll be getting, uh, Hao and Kuvin's cards as well, but at the moment I only have Gonuk's, Jiung's is on the way though. And then, album cards, again, this is, this is a slow, slow process for me, to be honest, um, at the moment these are just my pulls, but I do have some more cards on the way. Then we have, these are my top two, like, pop pages, so I'm collecting all of Gunnuk's pops, or I'm trying to, but for some sets I decided that I wanted to collect both of my boys, so that's the stuff that I have there. Still missing quite a few things, but that's a big New Year goal for me, to sort of keep working on these and keep trying to find them. Um, so yeah, but this is my Gunnuk setup. We're doing a little bit better, like, I feel like the further we get through these. Um, so I do have, like, some of these cards on the way, which is very, very exciting. Um, but then we have my setup for Melting Point. So I still don't have any Melting Point albums. I actually do need to <laughs> need to buy some of that. I have some Digipacks on the way, but not, like, normal album versions. Um, but yeah, I'm all set up. I do have some cards that I've, like, secured already. Um, which is nice, and I haven't set up for Melting Point Pobs because I'm still a little uncertain as to like how much stuff I'm getting and I'd rather just kind of wait until all the Pobs are out so then I can make a layout based on that. Um, then we move into our merch section, which is a little bit messy, but it's a work in progress. So we start with Gunnuk's uh, KCON card. Um, I'm not sure what else I want to fill this page with, I've thought about, I'd, like, I'd love to have his Boys Planet uh, CGV card, but it's so expensive, um, and it would be really nice to have both those cards and then to get the same cards for Juung, and that can, like, start my merch section, and it'll be my little, like, pre-debut section as well. I don't know. They're just, they're expensive. They're hard to get hold of. So, for now, it's just one lonely little Gunu card there. But then we have some of the Bring Green cards. Um, I still need to pick up Juung's uh, Korean Bring Green photo card, but then these are a couple of the units, I think I'm getting the other units as well, so that's exciting. Then some of the D-Icon cards, I am getting Gunuk's D-Icon magazine, which is very exciting. Those cards will go in here in like a better setup. This will start my FanCon merch section, so I'm collecting top four again for the Polaroids. I do have my other three members secured, um, but at the moment Given's the only one that I have on the hand, so there he is. And then these will be for Gunnuk's trading cards, and these are his L holder cards. So that's everything in my Zero Base 1 collection so far. There is still plenty more stuff that's on the way. Uh, this is a collection that I'm like really, really excited to sort of see it grow through 2024. I am also thinking about maybe moving into an A4 binder but that will make me want to collect top three, and I don't know, that just seems like a big, a big endeavour, doesn't it? We'll see what happens. 
but the other group that I have in here is even where I collect Hanbin. So at the moment, I just have his Digipack cards on hand, but these two have been secured, and actually, literally the day that I am filming this, even announced that they are having a comeback, and I am so excited because I love their music. Um, I just I love I love that group so much. I'm so so happy that Hanbin has debuted. But then there will be one more group in here, and I haven't set up because I already have the cards secured, they'll be in my next Nyokyo package. But just as a little spoiler, I am also collecting Haruto from TOZ, and his cards are going to go here, because it works really nicely, there's four cards for their debut album. So yeah, that will go here. And so far that's all I'm collecting for like post Boys Planet stuff. Um, I am maybe thinking about collecting Camden. Um, I don't know though, and I know there's one packed as well, um, and there's also TIOT. I don't know, there's just there's so many post Boys Planet stuff that I sort of do want to collect more of it, but for now, we have Gunu, Jiwon, Hanbin, and Haruto, which, yeah, love that. But this, this will grow a lot through 2024, I think. So now this is my P1 Harmony and Very Very Binder. So, on the front we have this little Jiung photo with a couple of stickers and stuff, which I think is cute. I don't- I'm not really one for binder deco because I'm not very good at it, but I like what I did with it. Um, so yeah, we start with P1 Harmony. So, I used to collect Teo and Jiung, and then I dropped my Teo collection because I was struggling to keep up with just one member, let alone two. So now I just have Jiung, but I love him, like I really really love him, and his cards are super super cute. So as you saw I'm missing his debut cards, I'm missing this as well, um, and the do it like this, like English release, American release, whatever we're gonna call it. This is one of my favourite Jiung cards ever, super 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 cute. So then, yeah, missing these platform cards, but again, that's another goal for next year. Um, only now missing a one album card from their last release though, which is great. I'm probably just gonna get a pob to put here, I think. But yeah, I haven't decided which one. I need to look for one, actually. Then these are the platform cards. Um, and then I don't collect all of his standing cards, it's just like, if I pick them up, then obviously I keep them. If I pull them, then I keep them. But yeah, I'm not like massively fussed about collecting all of them, but they're nice to have. And then I have his summer photo book cards down here because I think that they are the cutest. I don't know if I'll collect more like non-album stuff for Jiung, it's just a case of if I if I pick them up, if I see them for cheap, then I will sort of grab them. But it's uh, for now I just focus on his album cards. And that's everything I have for Jiung. So then my very very collection, uh, I collect Yong Sung. I've had a really fun time collecting him actually. I'm not too sure what the future holds for this collection. At the moment it's pretty much up to date, like I have all the older album cards. I'm missing this one from round two. Um, I have a pop here just to like fill the page up though. And then I'm missing this one from round three. But aside from that, you know, I have all of the, the liminality cards. Um, I am going to collect the Luminality Dream cards, I just haven't got round to it yet. To be honest, I wasn't, like, in love with this release from Very Very, but like I said, I really don't know what the future is going to hold for them. Um, so I think I'm just, I'm going to pick these up, and then we'll, we'll see what happens from there. But yeah, I've really enjoyed collecting Yongsung, to be honest. Um, I'm just not too sure what's going to happen in the future. But then here I just have some of his like extra album cards, like the, the transparent cards, a couple of units, um, more transparent, that's a lenticular, Polaroid, and the IDs. Um, I don't stress too much about collecting like all of these. Again, if I find them in like a set or something then I pick them up, but mostly I just focus on his, uh, his album selfie cards. But that's my P1 and very, very collection. So now we have my 17 collection, where, as I think you can probably see, I collect Vernon, and I love this collection, actually. I So I used to collect Vernon, like, when I first started collecting, because 
I got into Seventeen, like, I don't know, around the time of, like, Ajun Ice, I think, and always loved them. Yeah, when I, like, actually started to collect, I knew I wanted to collect Vernon, but I got overwhelmed by the amount of cards that there were, so I dropped the collection, but then, after Face the Sun, I decided that I want to pick it back up again, which was a bold choice, considering Face the Sun had so many cards, but, yeah. Now I have my Vernon collection, so I'm still missing some of his older cards. However, I'm hoping they're going to be a bit easier to find now that Pledis has, like, repressed them. Um, here, I want to put, like, a Polaroid from, like, one of the concerts or something like that. Just something to fill up the page. Um, missing a bunch of teenage cards, which is not surprising. Director's Cut is all finished, though, which is nice. Then... I don't know why, but I find You Make My Day so hard to collect. Like, how have I only got one card? I don't know why it's so, so difficult for me. However, I am gonna, you know, keep working on it. Patience is a virtue. Um, then we start an ode where I have everything, which was a big goal for me this year, actually. And I'm so happy to have all these cards. Because, yeah, 17 can do a lot of photo cards, and it's very intense. Still missing a Hengari card. We'll pick it up somewhere. Then, I have a couple of the, and these are like the HMV cards, just to fill this page. I had thought about maybe collecting another member for Semicolon. Probably would have collected Dino, he is my second bias. I still might do that, but for now, these two cards are here, almost as like placeholders. And I also have this Minkau. 8-ball card, because I pulled it from my Your Choice album, and there was no way I was gonna get rid of that. Like, I know I could have traded for Vernon, but no, it's just, it's it's an iconic card, isn't it? Like, I had to keep it. Um, then we have Attacker, which is all complete. And then we move on to Face the Sun. So, we have everything, which this was, this was an adventure. This card was so hard to find, but it was like the last one that I needed for so long, and then I finally got it, and I am very, very happy. Then, here I've sort of like meshed together Face the Sun and Sector 17, because of like the Weverse versions and such. Um, I have a Dino card here, again, this is one that I pulled from my compact album. I think I did actually, I, I pulled Vernon and Dino, which was crazy, what like great luck for me. And then I just have a like a fan sign card there just to fill the space. Um, FML I'm not doing so well on. I just I don't know. I kind of flopped this era. I don't I don't know why I didn't like keep up with it more. Um, the cards aren't even that hard to get. I'm just lazy I think. But I have some of the stuff. And here I'm probably just gonna put pobs again to fill things up. Then Seventeenth Heaven I don't have anything yet. Um, I do have the Weverse cards coming in my next Neo Cure haul, but for now, we don't have anything. But then at the back here, I just keep some like extra Vernon merch cards, so I don't collect his merch properly, but you tend to find a lot of stuff in like sets on Neo Cure, so I just have some, some cute little cards here from like concerts, merch, Japanese albums. These and this, I did pick up, like, deliberately. Dinosaur Hat Vernon is everything to me, and there is just something about this card. I think he looks amazing. But yeah, then I just have a couple of, like, the larger inclusions. I don't really like storing larger inclusions in my A5 binders. I'm just not, like, a fan of the pages, particularly. But I have them, so I decided to just sort of store them anyways. But that's my Vernon collection. So I would really like to get, like, back up to date with this. Uh, this binder is extremely full, like, I don't think I can fit another era in this, which is a little concerning, because I don't particularly want to split it, and I also don't want to move it to an A4 binder, because I really like the A5 layout for 17. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll cross that bridge when we, when we come to it. So the first A4 binder that I want to go through is my miscellaneous boy groups binder. So, this houses quite a few different groups. So the first group in here is Stray Kids, and I collect Jungin. I only collect the Korean 
album cards. I don't collect any pobs or merch or anything like that. I also don't really bother about getting all of the like limited cards from older albums. I do have this one from Levanta, um, but I'm not fussed about getting the others. They're just, they're very expensive and it's not really a priority for me. This is my Jungin collection, which is mostly up to date. Um, yeah, I have a really fun time collecting Jungin actually. He's pretty easy to collect. And since I don't collect any like extra stuff, I have quite an easy time just picking up his album cards and then calling it a day. Rockstar, I don't have any of the cards on hand yet, but as you can see, I do have most of them secured. There's still a few that I'm missing, but I'm not too stressed about that. I have time. Then bigger inclusions, I don't collect all of them, but if I happen to find them or pull them or whatever, then I will keep them. So I have the I Am You Polaroid, this is from In Life, it's his little like fold out thing. That's his No Easy uh, standy thing, which I used to display this on my shelves actually, but then I ran out of space, so now he lives in here. Then the Maxident like love letter postcard thing, it's the group postcard from Five Star, and more Five Star stuff. That's all I have for Stray Kids. Then the next group in here is TXT, where I collect Hyunin Kai. Again, all of his like Korean album photo cards. I am still missing this Chaos Chapter Freeze photo card. It's the one where he's like holding the flowers. I don't know why I found it so hard to, to get hold of. I just feel like I don't see it for sale that often. So yeah, if anybody has it, please let me know. It's one of the only cards that I'm missing now, aside from stuff from their like most recent comeback. Um, so again, I have a really easy time collecting Hyun and Kai. I do have a couple of like, I think, which one is it? This one is like a Weverse card, and this might be Weverse as well. Um, but I don't mind having a couple of like, little pops or whatever, just to, just to fill up some space. Um, but yeah, so I do have, as we can see, all the other cards from Freefall secured. It was actually just the Weverse cards that I was missing. Uh, but I picked them up. Um, yeah, I have an easy time with Hyunin Kai. I used to collect Yeonjun actually when I like first got into TXT, and then I dropped that collection because again it was a lot to sort of handle. And then when I like the more I kept getting into TXT, the more I was like actually I think Hyunin Kai is my bias and I want to collect him. So now I do. I have all of his like larger, older cards in this lovely little eight pockets. They all fit really nicely here. Um, then I have just a bunch of the Thursday's Child cards here, like the Lenticulars, the postcard, uh, standees from Fire Escape, and then another one of the Fire Escape, like, postcards. And that's all I have for TXT. So my next group in this binder is Gravity, where I collect Taeyong, and I love my Gravity collection so much. I'm pretty sure I picked this up either like late last year or early this year, and I have so much fun with it. Gravity are such an amazing group. They make me so, so happy, and I really love Taeyong. I love collecting him as well. So what I really enjoy as well is the fact that you have three cards like per album for each of the photo book versions. They always do three. So they look so nice in this setup. And like, look how insane these bags are. It's so bright, it's so colourful, it's so gravity, it's perfect. And then, I think it was from from this era, that's when they started to do jewel cases as well. So I saw the jewel cases, like, the jewel case cards separately, and keep with the whole, like, three photo book cards, just for, just for consistency, really. So I'm all up to date with my gravity cards, uh, well, for their photo book versions at least. But then I do the unit cards from each album. Uh, I adore unit cards. They are one of my favourite things to collect. Um, and since I love Gravity so much, it makes me super happy to at least have cards of like every member. So there are some unit cards that I'm missing, but they will be in my next Pokemarket haul. So that's super, super exciting. But we have... Yes, so this era is already all complete. Masterpiece. I don't know why it took me so long to get all these units, but as we can see, I do have them all secured. 
and Sunseeker, I didn't bother writing out fillers because I I'm fairly confident in gravity age order at this point. Um, but these are all secured as well. And then here is where I keep the jewel case cards and also like pobs and stuff like that. So I don't collect a lot of like non-album stuff for gravity, but there's some that I've like picked up along the way. So I'm very happy to have them. I love my little gravity collection and they just, they live here. Um, I will be adding another page to this as well. Um, this is where I'm gonna do all of the extra Sunseeker cards because there was a lot. The Plave versions, is that what they're called? I don't know, they're basically like S-minis. But yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of those cards and they've been very, very hard to find. So that is a big goal for the new year, to work on my extra like Sunseeker collection. Now we have the boys where I collect Younghoon and I basically collect him from like reveal era onwards because that's the era that I started to stand the boys but I do have some other like older cards and I kind of want to back collect the rest of his cards but I'm honestly not too sure. I have picked up a couple more but whether I end up setting up to collect them fully is anybody's guess to be honest but yeah we start from reveal era and we have yeah so we have chase and then the like the concept cards and the lenticulars and some pobs to like fill up the page. I would like to collect some more Young Hoon pobs. I've gotten like massively back into the boys with the release of Watch It and that's probably my favourite song they've ever put out. Um, so yeah, I do want to keep collecting some more Young Hoon stuff. Then we have Thrilling. I love these photo cards so so much. I do have some more pobs on the way, however I will be working on this more because I would like to fill up this page. Then Maverick, which is all complete. Um, and then the unit cards and the like ID card. And um, we have two pobs. At the moment, I don't mind this layout because it's a nice little six pattern. However, I would uh, I would not complain if I had more pobs to sort of finish off the whole page. Then we have Whisper. So I have all the cards there and then like the platform and the sort of special kit cards and all of that stuff. Then we have Raw. I'm still missing the jewel case card. Um, hopefully I'll pick that up at some point soon. And I do have a couple of like Whisper Pobs that are on this page as well, just because I didn't know where else to put them, to be honest. So yeah, they live here for now. Um, especially I love blue hair, Yonghoon. Like, I'm obsessed. Blue is one of my favourite colours. Like, one of my favourite hair colours. Um, and then these are all the platform cards. Then for Fantasy Part 1, I've made pretty good progress, actually, I think. Uh, so I don't have everything, but we're over halfway there. And then I've set up Fantasy Part 2. Um, probably going to be collecting everything, to be honest. I have not really made a lot of progress yet. I've picked up a couple of cards. I also don't know if I'll be collecting the DVD cards, which is the same deal for Fantasy Part 1. At first I didn't know what they were, and then I realised that they were just like member versions. So whether I collect them or not, I haven't quite decided. But that's that's my Young Coon collection. I do think this will be growing quite a bit next year, to be honest. Um, I just really love the boys, and I really love Young Coon, so yeah. We'll see what happens. So next we have my SM binder, which I keep in a pink binder because unfortunately my blood runs pink. It's embarrassing at this point, but I can't help it that SM just, I don't know, they know how to make good music and most of my alt groups are from SM. But yeah, we start with what, what was actually my very first collection and what got me into collecting in the first place. They were also my very first K-pop group and that is EXO. So I collect Seon, he was my first bias, my first alt bias. I still love him so so much. I'm so 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 sad about his enlistment, but, but yeah, this was my first ever collection, um, and I am super super proud of it. So we have all of his album cards. I've mixed like Korean and Japanese cards together because they don't have a lot of Japanese cards. So it just sort of made sense to, to do it that way. So yeah, I have everything all complete for like older albums. Um, 
I just, I love this collection so much. I'm so proud of how far, how far it's come. Then we have my Exist layout, which I'm still missing a couple of the album cards, but that's fine, we'll get there. And this is also where you can start to see that for alt groups, I use these cute little heart sleeves, uh, just in my like filler spaces. I just thought it would be cute. Uh, you can't quite see them in like every slot, but yeah, I have those for all my old groups. Then we have XOSC, which was life changing for me because you know, Zone is my old, and then Chanyol is my second bias in XO. So, yeah, this unit was everything for me, and I love their music. I don't collect the Kino cards just because there's quite a lot of them and they're quite expensive. Um, so I just do the, the album cards, but that's fine. And then 1 billion views, which, fun fact, was actually the very first album that I ever bought all versions of. So I have all of Sam's album cards up there, then these are like their message cards and the group cards. It was the same deal with the Kinos, I didn't, didn't collect those. Then we have SMCU, which honestly has been a nightmare. Um, and you can see I've still not really made that much progress with it. But I've like sort of combined it with the pink Christmas cards just to have a nice little like wintry, wintry layout here. Yeah, this is something I desperately want to work on in the new year. They're just very, very difficult to find. I don't know why. But that's what I have so far. And then I have non-album stuff, which I have amassed a lot of this over the last three and a half years. I don't even think I remember what everything is, but we have various bits of like SM merch. We have Nature Republic stuff. Um, we have like Season's Greetings, concert stuff. Does anybody else remember Exo Run? Because I do. I remember playing it in like, what, 2015? What, what a fun time. Hey, fun memories. I've, I'm so fond of Exo. I really, really am. Yeah, we've got like plenty more Nature Republic stuff, um, holo cards, uh, fan kit, season's greetings. This is all season's greetings from 20, was it 2020 and 2021, I think. Um, and then you can see this is where I like slowed down a lot with my EXO merch collecting. Partially because for a while there wasn't really anything to collect. But then, the way that SM releases merch, I really only have the energy and the funds to keep up with one group. And uh, yeah, that, that group is shiny, so I don't collect XO merch as heavily as I used to. But I love what I have. Then I have this page of like other album cards. So you can see I have four cards from The War, and this is from the private version, which is like my favourite concept. This is probably like my favourite concept that EXO have ever done, so I would kind of like to collect the whole set. Uh, the only member that I don't want to collect, and this isn't because I don't love him, I do, but I don't want to collect Jongin's card because if you've seen it, if you've seen his styling from that era, then you'll know why, but that's just not a card that I want to have in my collection. I desperately want to get Chanyeol's card. I need Chanyeol's card, but I have like the rest of my bias line, because that is Kungsu and Jongdae, they are my other two members of my EXO bias line. And then we have Shumin and Jungmyeon up at the top. But then I have an extra Chanyeol card from, I think, is that from Love Shot or Tempo? This I pulled from my 1 million views album and I will never give it up. Banana Chanyeol is iconic. And then this Bakyon card from Obsession. Obsession was the first like K-pop album that anybody bought me as a gift. My parents bought it me for Christmas one year. I think Christmas or my birthday. And yeah, that's the card I pulled, so I kept it for sentimental reasons. And then I have some extra cards from Exist, which I wanted to keep because, as I said before, Chanyeol and Kyungsu are also part of my EXO bias line. So yeah, I have them and there they live. And there is space for me to get like more extra cards. You can see that I don't collect everybody's solos. If someone ever had a solo release, I would obviously collect it, and I would probably collect a Chanyeol, like, physical solo as well. But the other members, I listen to all their solos and I love them, but I've just never really considered collecting them. And now I feel like there's so much that it, yeah, it would be too much for me to, to try and get into that now and back collect. 
Then we have some like larger inclusions, which are all a little bit, I don't want to say unorganized, but they're sort of crammed in wherever they can be. So some Nature Republic stuff. These are a couple of like channel inclusions I pulled from albums. That's the Exist bookmark. We have a Nature Republic postcard. That's the Universe group postcard. Um, these are all postcards from XOSC. More of those. Then these are from Don't Fight the Feeling, which I think I have all of the postcards from that actually. And then my pulls from Exist. I didn't bother trying to like trade any of the postcards or anything, or the, the lenticular, I just kept what I have. Because I think they're so cute, especially look at Jimmy on with the donut, he's so so cute. Then I pulled a lot of channel for the bigger inclusions, but like I said, as my second bias, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trade them away or anything. But that's my that's my EXO collection. I'm Super, super proud of it. It's probably my most, like, sentimental collection. It's very fitting that EXO were my very first group. They were the group that got me into K-pop, and they were also the first group that I ever collected. The next group we have in here is TVXQ, and I don't think I know anybody on YouTube who collects TVXQ, but, like, you guys are missing out, honestly. I have a really fun time collecting TVXQ. It's hard because there aren't a lot of, like, other collectors out there. I adore them, so of course I collect them. So for, like, older albums, I was just collecting Changmin. However, I do really want to collect You Know. You'll see. I'm, by the way, I'm missing one Keep Your Head Down card from Changmin, but I will get that eventually. Um, but yeah, from 10th from era onwards, I do collect both of them, but I want to go back and, like, back collect all of You Know's older cards. Um, especially right now, I am so deep in my TVXQ era, it's it's bad for me, it's really bad for me, guys. Their 20th anniversary has broken me, and I'm obsessed with the album. So as you can see, I will be collecting everything from 20 and 2. The only version I didn't buy is the special version, which now I'm kind of regretting, now I've seen it. But yeah, I've ordered every single version, and I will be collecting all of the cards because I am crazy. I feel like it's probably going to be challenging, because like I said, Nobody really collects TVXQ. I have a couple of mutuals that do, but yeah, I would not say they're a popular group to collect. Um, but then I collect all their solos as well. This, you know, True Colors card I actually picked up last night from Nyokyo, so I'm so excited about that. But yeah, I've combined their like solo debut cards. Um, I'm not collecting the Kino cards, they're very hard to find. That's the thing with like older SM Kinos, they're just really difficult to get hold of. Yeah, so we have True Colors, then we have Changmin's chocolate cards, then Uno you know, solo stuff. Yeah, so these two cards actually like started my Uno collection because I could not resist them. And I should have realized earlier on, to be honest, that I needed to collect all of his cards, but you know, it took me some time. And then I am set up for reality show, which these cards have been so hard to get because no like UK K-pop K -pop stores have sold them. Um, but, you know, I'll get them all eventually. There was a lot of cards for reality show, but, you know, it's fine. And then I have my devil cards. So far I only have the two black version cards, because again, this album has just been very hard to find in the UK. If anybody happens to have his red version cards, please tell me. Then I just have some, like, bigger inclusions, like the, the two, like, big, big group cards, which, yes, they're from Catch Me. Then chocolate purse cards, these are devil purse cards, and that's my TVXQ collection. And the only other thing that we have in here is Girls Generation. So I would say the Girls Generation are probably my favourite girl group. Uh, Taeyong is my like top female idol. I love her solo music so, so much. She has one of my favourite discographies ever. So basically what I have, in the middle I keep this super super cute card from Forever One. This is from Purpose, which I bought. I bought this album because it's my favourite Taeyong album, and that's the card that I pulled. These are some of the best cards I've ever owned. The Zero cards. I'm sorry, how could you not love these cards? They're just, they're perfect. So yeah, I have those from IMVU, and I do want to expand on this a little bit more. I'd like to pick up a copy of 2X and maybe like back collect a couple of cards from 
her older albums and maybe some more Girls' Generation cards, but I don't know. We'll see how that one goes. And then I also have a page of Hyoyeon cards because she is my second Girls' Generation bias. Uh, I also love her solo music so much, like it is exactly my style. So I have the one card that I pulled from Deep and then I have her Got The Beat cards. So I just decided, you know what, why not? I'll collect all of Hyoyeon's Got The Beat cards, which includes her pops. I wouldn't normally do that, but just they're so cute. How could I not? I'm only missing two cards for that. And that's, again, something I'm probably going to work on in the new year. But I love my, my little Girls' Generation collection. I felt like I had enough cards that it was worth moving them out of my Girl Group's binder. And I'm glad that I did. I do think maybe Red Velvet will go in this binder too at some point when I get more cards. Since obviously they're an SM group, they would go nicely in my SM binder. But yeah, that's everything from my SM binder. Alright, so our next binder is my NCT binder, which of course is this green colour, because what other colour would I use for NCT? So for NCT, I collect three members across On27 and Wavy. Um, so I collect Taeyong, which I think is pretty obvious from, uh, from my user, and then I also collect Ten and Yang Yang. So we start with the like full group project stuff. Obviously Yang Yang wasn't part of NCT back in 2018, uh, so I just have Taeyong and Ten and then this this group card in the middle. I have thought about maybe collecting a third or even a fourth member to fill this page. Probably be Yang or Jaehyun or both, but for now I'm happy with this layout, so that's empathy. And then Resonance Part 1, I am still missing this Taeyong Kino, however, I'm still looking for it. it. I know it does say on the way, but that was me getting confused with the other Kino. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I have everyone's like normal album cards, the yearbook cards, and Ten and Yang Yang's Kinos. Then this is the future version, where I have, again, normal album cards, and then all the keynotes. I'm not sure what to put here. Somebody did suggest in my last storing photo cards video that maybe I just like double collect the yearbook cards, and to be honest, I'm thinking about doing that, because I would like to have something there to just fill the space and keep it consistent across all these pages. Um, so then Resonance Part 2, the arrival version. Um, and then the... No, maybe that's Departure and this is Arrival, I don't know, I can't remember. But the world's most iconic Taeyong for a card. I love... Yeah, I love that page. Uh, then we have Universe, so... Throw book, IDs, and Jewel Case. And then Golden Age, I am still working on. But I have... I think I have most of these cards on the way, actually. So hopefully they should be... They should be with me fairly soon. Um, but I did decide for Golden Age as well that I want to collect all the Japanese cards so that I can have a page with the um, these like transport cards as well. And plus the Japanese cards are just, they're very, very cute. Um, I'm doing it. Why not? Then we have my 127 collection. So obviously I collect everything for Taeyong including his keynotes and his circle cards, and I just keep everything sort of all together. Like, that's all just on a page, and then we have full page for Neo Zone. Then the final round with... This is a this is a merch card, it's from his standee from this era. It fills this page nicely, I think. Um, then sticker. I would like to pick up some pobs or something just to fill this up. Um, but it's not a huge priority for me. We have Favourite, which does have... These are fan sign cards. Um, then Two Baddies, which I could do with filling some of this space, I think. Um, this photo card I am still searching for. I don't think I've ever seen it, but, you know, one day I'm sure we'll find it. Um, then we have AO. I'm fairly happy with this setup, actually. I wouldn't be mad about getting another two cards to put there, but I like how it is at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it for now. 
And then we have Fact Check, which I am still working on. I'm fairly certain I still need to pick up another pop to put there, but that's absolutely fine. I'm in no particular rush to do that since Fact Check is still fairly new. I say it's fairly new, but then, you know, we also have Be There For Me, which I haven't bought any copies of, but I've set up for it. Um, I'll just pick up the cards at a later date. I might buy the S-Mini, I'm not sure. But I just, I don't really have the space to keep buying a load of albums. And I was honestly hoping that Be There For Me would just be like a digital single, so I wasn't expecting there to be cards, but you know, here we are. Um, then this is my Japanese section for Taeyong. It's been so long since we last had a 127 Japanese release, and I'm not convinced we're gonna get another one before Taeyong's enlistment which I don't even want to think about. Um, but then we have, obviously, Shalala. Still missing an archive card, but that's that's okay. We will get there eventually. And I also don't have any of his S-mini cards yet, but aside from that, it's coming along pretty well. Um, and then that's my pop page for Shalala, which eventually I will fill up. I know that I could change this page to like a five layout, but I do want to get more pobs. I haven't decided which ones yet, but yeah, I'm sure eventually I will get more pobs for, for this album. And then just have some random, like, not an album, merch. So Super M cards at the top. That's from the first, like, the icon thing that they did. Um, that's a slow acid card. That's the, the, like, NCT University concept merch thing that they did. That's, I think these are both sticker merch. That's the Baker House stuff. Uh, Retro House? Yeah, Retro House. Um, and this is like to the world, and that's a fan meet merch. So, not a lot of stuff, like non album stuff there, but I will keep working on that. Um, then these are all the other D icon cards. I used to collect Taeyong's, like, non-album and merch cards a lot more thoroughly, but he's just such an expensive member that I decided to downsize, and I'm only just getting back into, like, buying some extra stuff for him. Just if I see it cheap, then I will pick it up, but otherwise I'm not trying to, like, have everything like I was a couple of years ago. Um, so then we move on to Wavy, where, like I said, I collect Ten and Yang Yang, and honestly, this page is, like, my pride and joy. I wish there was more to fill it out, but Takeoff only had, you know, one photo card, one circle card, but the fact that I have both member sets for that is insane to me. Uh, this 10 card I got this year, and it has been literally pretty my top priority card since I started collecting, and he's finally, finally home in my binder, and I could not be happier. That's one of the things I'm, like, proudest of in my collection this year, to be honest. Um, and Take Over the Moon and Take Over the Moon sequel. I will say I only, like, picked Yang Yang back up again, I think in the summer, so that's why there's- it's mostly his circle cards that I'm missing, to be honest. Um, oh, and I've really not got anything for Awaken the World either. But I used to collect full group for Wavy, and then I cut down to just collecting ten, but, you know, as time has gone on, I could not avoid collecting Yang Yang again. I just love him very much. Um, then we have Kickback. These two cards are secure. They're on the way. They'll be in my Yankee Hall, I believe. But I do also have his Kinos there. And then Phantom. Just need to get the Overture card from Yang Yang. These are the K-Town Pobs. And then On My Youth, which I have made really good progress in so far, I think. Like, these are just my pulls as well. Still have, like, two more cards to get. I might end up adding a couple of pobs to this page just to make it into an eight pattern, but for now, I like how it is. Then I have some ten non-album stuff, so Super M cards. That's a fan sign card from Awaken the World. That's also a Super M card. These are from Season's Greetings. What year was it? 20? 21? The, that, that was the year that I bought Wavy's Season's Greetings. Uh, that's a pop from the Season's Greetings. This was... I think they released these as anniversary merch, actually. Um, but I can't really remember now, to be honest. Um, then these cards are all from the Phantom fan meeting tour, which I went to and had literally the greatest time ever. 
like that is a memory I will treasure forever. Wavy have been one of my alts since I like got back into K-pop. They really mean a lot to me and I just I had like the perfect day. Um, so yeah, I obviously bought some bought some merch and stuff when I was there and uh, yeah, those are the those are the ten cards that I have. And then we have a golden age and some Mumo Pob and then that's the K Town Pob from On My Youth. Um, I would also like to have more, like, non-album Yang Yang stuff, but, you know, Eric Ten and Taeyong are both alts of mine, whereas Yang Yang, I love him, but he's not an alt, hence why I don't really have any, like, non-album stuff for him yet. But I can see that changing in the future. Uh, then my bigger inclusions, they're sort of all thrown together a little bit, so I have some Taeyong Polaroids from The Seventh Sense, which I adore. These are from Sticker and Favourite. Then a postcard from Fire Truck. That's his limitless like sticker sheet thing. Then his Empathy Dream Diaries. The Superhuman postcard. Um, and these are a bunch of his like sticker postcards. I used to try and collect all of Taeyong's big inclusions a lot more thoroughly than I do now, but now I don't really bother because I don't buy one two seven albums the same way that I used to. Um, so yeah, if I end up with stuff, then I keep it, but I, at this point, I don't even really try to trade. It's just too much effort. So these are the postcards from sha la, -la. Uh, These are bookmarks from Favourite. That's the tag thing from On My Youth. Um, that's the Polaroid from the archive version of sha -la, la Polaroid from On My Youth. Yang Yang's film strip thing. The AR ticket from the fan meeting tour. Uh, Take Over the Moon postcard. Actually, I think this is a sequel postcard. It's Ten's Universe postcard. Have the group kickback one there. And these are also from the AR ticket set. And then the only other thing that I have in this binder is my Super M collection, which I, you know, I have a lot of nostalgia for this collection. I really miss Super M. I loved them, I can't lie. It was kind of perfect for me because it was a bunch of my alt groups all combining and three of my alt biases all together. So, of course, I had to collect all three of them. And I, I love having this, like, little three layout. I think it looks so good. So, obviously, Taemin, Taeyong, Ten. We have, like, the, the American and the Korean press cards for each boy from the debut mini. And then we have all the Super One cards as well, the American and Asian Press cards. These are all the ID cards, which I don't know why these were so hard to complete. Like, there was something very difficult about these and I really don't know what. Um, and then we have the unit cards. So I didn't collect like every, every group card. I just kept what I needed to fill a page and I really like the setup. I think it's very, very cute. Uh, and then I also have the postcards from my top three, so yeah. And this super, super cute group postcard that I'm very, very fond of. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think my Super M collection will have anything added to it in the future. I feel like it's kind of a, a done and dusted thing, even though SM did tease something and then we just never got it. But, you know, it is what it is. It was, it was fun while it lasted. So, starting my Monster X collection, I have this Reason binder, which came from the pop-up store. I bought it because it came with Min Hyuk's photo card, but I then also use this to store, like, any extra Monster X album cards that I've picked up. So, our little cover is this super, super cute Juhan No Limit card, which is followed by a Chenkyu No Limit card. I'm just kind of obsessed with these cards, I could not resist them. And we have a Kihyun Pob from Voyager, and then a few Wano cards. And we also do have a Huanyung in here just because it's a, I think it's a Japanese card, and it's too big to fit in my like other collect book where I store Huanyung cards. Um, however, it does fit in this because it's like, it's slightly smaller than a Monster X photo card, but yeah, these pages are, you know, made for Monster X cards, so he fits in there. And I think it's a nice little. Nice little thing with this, this pink Wano card. Yeah, I don't have a lot in this binder. Again, there is so much room to grow. So this is the first of my big binders for Monster X. 
and this houses my Minhyuk like album collection. So I collect everything for Minhyuk. Uh, I try to get literally, literally everything for him. Basically, like all of his album cards, uh, his pobs, and then merch stuff. But that's in the other binder. So this is just like album cards and then pobs from the albums as well. We have like all the all the older stuff. Um, Beautiful and Shine Forever, the code, and as you can see, like I collect all the unit cards as well. Um, this is one of my favourite, favourite Minhyuk cards, like, ever. So hard to find, and to find for a good price, but very, very happy that I have him in my collection. Then, this is the Connect, and then the Connect unit cards. Are you there? And the unit cards from that. Then we are here. I would love to get the um, the American Press card from We Are Here as well, but I don't know. Those are really expensive these days. I feel like, and I just haven't really seen it for sale. So yeah, if anybody uh, happens to have that card and is looking to part with it, then I would love to add him to my Minhyuk collection. Um. These are the like the units and the transparent cards from We Are Here. Then we have Follow. Yeah, Follow got like the version one, two, three. That's version four. I think that's the Kino, and that's a G Market Pob, I think. And two ID cards. And we have Fantasia. And this is where I start to like standardize the way that I set up for uh, Monster X. Because I, I feel like everything would start to stay like pretty pretty uniform from Fantasia onwards. So I do like the four album cards in each corner and then the Kino in the middle. Uh, then we have the Fantasia units and this Minhyuk and Chenkyun broadcast card, which is one of my favourite things that I own. I am so, so, so happy to have that in my collection. Um, we have Fatal Love. So again, similar concept with like one and two, three and four, Kino, and then the other two, like, extra cards there. Um, and this is also the first era that Monster X started to, like, properly do pobs. And then I also have some broadcast stuff from this era, so... That's Broadcast Polaroid, that's a broadcast sticker, and that's another one of his broadcast cards. I'm only missing one broadcast card from Fatal Love now. I would love to have it. I don't know, I just, I love the Fatal Love album so, so much. The concept was amazing. Yeah, I'm just really, really fond of this era. I have a lot of good memories of it, so I would really like to have that final Minhyuk broadcast card. Uh, then we have One of a Kind. Um, his Kino card is one of his best cards ever, like, hands down. And the units, these are the Lucky Draw units with Juhan and Chenkyun because they are the other two members of my bias line. Um, then we have all the pobs and lucky draws there as well for one of a kind. So I think this is, this is, this is all complete. I have everything now for that. Then we have No Limit, where, again, Starship had to go and change things up with how we did versions, because we had a jewel case and a limited version, as well as the, as well as the Kino. So yeah, this setup is slightly different to how it has been in the past, but still a similar-ish concept. And these are the units. Uh, I am still missing the OT5 group card. Uh, desperate to have that. If anybody sees it, please let me know. Um, then, pobs. I can't remember what store all these pobs are from. Um, if you do want to know, just, you know, leave a comment and I'll try and, I'll try and, you know, let you know where they came from. Uh, more pobs. I organise all my pobs by like outfit and concept just to try and make them all sort of look nice and cohesive. And then these are the lucky draws and the only things I'm missing are the Polaroid lucky draws and I am so 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 desperate for them. Like I want them so badly you don't even understand. I'm such a big fan of like Polaroids and also I don't know, it would, it, Minhyuk just looks so cute in them, I'm, I really need them. I do have the rest of his lucky draws, so that's a, that's a start at least. But then we have Shape of Love, so again, similar kind of concept that we had for No Limit with a, this time it was a special version, and we have the jewel case and the Kino. 
And I also just put the little Starship Square ID in the middle, because it, it looked good there, I thought. Um, these are the units along with, like, the other Starship Square pobs. So that was, that was like, a set pob, and then the two, like, pop-out cards. We have a bunch of pobs, and my lucky draw page, which these lucky draws are complete, which is super, super satisfying to me. So then we have Reason, and I am still missing Minhyuk's cassette card. I have Kihyun's equivalent, and would very much like to trade um, if anybody happens to have Minhyuk. I feel like I'm a little bit late to the game almost, but yeah, it's just been, it's been a challenge. Then we have my units, and again, the Starship Square cards. They didn't do, like, group pobs this time. Um, then, here are my other pobs. I'm still missing the Soundwave card, however, I will be picking it up soon, I think. Then, more pobs, which is also kind of mixed in with some of the pop-up store merch. So the binder card and the two, like, random trading cards. Uh, I can't remember which is which, but yeah, if you if you want to know, just, just leave a comment, I'll let you know. And then my lucky draw page, where I'm still missing three, and they are all from Soundwave, so yeah. I would love to... I would love to have this all done by the time Minhyuk gets back from the military. So that gives, my, that, that gives me plenty of time, I think. That's quite a like high-priority thing for me. I want to have my, my collection back up to date by the time his enlistment is over. Then I have all my large inclusions that are all like album inclusions, aside from these, but these were the, like, this was the only place that they would fit, and I thought they filled up this page nicely. I'm still missing one of the clear cards, these are the ones from uh, Beautiful, so I really need to hunt this down, I just haven't found it yet. Then I have his Beautiful Post card, that's the like pop-out thing from the Connect. Uh, that's Tower Records postcard, and the Are You There uh, pro Polaroid, two of the group Polaroids from We Are Here, then the Follow Standee and Group postcard, Fantasia Standee and Tower Records postcard, then Polaroids, this one from the code. I would love to have the rest of these Polaroids, but I very, very, very rarely see them for sale. Uh, and I also actually haven't seen the template of all of them, so for now I just have one, and I'm happy with it. Um, but my plan was initially to collect, like, top four for the Fantasia Polaroids, which would mean having Juhans. But for now, since I have that, that Polaroid from the code, it just... You know, it stays like this, with Minhyuk, Kihyun, and Chankyun. And it's the bookmark from Follow, the index thing from Fatal Love. And then the two, like, transparent cards that were pops from Fatal Love. And the one-of-a-kind ornaments. And, like, message card thing. Then, No Limit bookmark, which I have so many of those just laying around the place, and I have started to use them as, like, actual bookmarks. And then for the film strips from No Limit, I actually ended up collecting OT5. Um... Just, I had so many, like, extra sets of inclusions that it was really easy to collect OT5. Um, just, a, just a fun little project for me. And then these are the limited inclusions, so the standee and the post card. These are the, like, mini posters from the dual case versions for No Limit and Shape of Love. That's the Shape of Love, like, heart ornament thing. A couple of the stickers. Um... Minhyuk and Chankyun's film strips and postcards from Reason. And then I did also end up collecting OT5 for the little four cuts. Um, so yeah, I have the other the other boys there. And I think the last thing is the Reason like mini poster. So that's everything in my Minhyuk like album binder. And like I said, I would love to get those missing lucky drawers by the time he comes back from the military. I think that's a reasonable goal to set myself. So here is my second Monster X binder, which contains like all of Minhyuk's merch cards and stuff, and then also everybody's sort of solo and subunit releases. 
So it starts actually on Minhyuk's Japanese cards, which I was making really great progress in for a while, and then I just sort of, I don't know, I think I kind of forgot I was working on this actually. Um, but it's mostly just a few stickers that I'm missing, and then the uh, Wish on the Same Sky card. So, you know, I'm not doing badly or anything, but I would like to, I would like to finish that. That's another, you know, want to have it done by the time his enlistment is over. But I have this kind of in sections, they're a little bit messy, but it makes sense to me. So it starts with, like, fan con and, like, other concert merch, uh, DVD cards, and fan kits as well. Yeah, so plenty of, like, tour stuff here. Um, and FanCon, these are both DVD cards. Then more tour stuff, it's like Japanese FanCon. Then we move to like the fan kit stuff. Um, these are from MX University, I believe. Yes, MX University. More MX University stuff, including like the, the group cards in the unit with Kihyun. Then MX Agent. I think there is a group card that I'm missing from this, actually, which I would like to pick that one up at some point, but for now, I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, then this is the No Limit tour merch. Uh, I got the, like, photo card pack that had all the members, so I just decided why not keep a full group set. You know, these cards are super, super cute, and I really like how the set looks. And I just sort of put this one in the middle. I think that's from the DVD. I can't even remember at this point. Um, and then these were the No Limit, like, trading cards, which I have most of them on the way now. I've finally secured them. Just need to pick up one last selfie card. Uh, then we have, then we have more MX Agent stuff and the 7th Gen, uh, fan kit cards as well. This is, like, Season's Greetings and photo books, including a couple of, like, pops and stuff from, from that. Um, I still do not have the Season's Greetings cards from, like, this year's season Greetings. I really need to find those, but for some reason I was not doing a very good job with searching for them. Um, but then the last, like, section here is for, like, merch and, like, brand collaboration stuff. Starts with the Tony Moe, like, hand cream stuff, and then a bunch of the Two Top Gum cards. Uh, more Two Top Gum, then Urban Decay, Champion. This is basically all Champion. These are the Navy Boy cards. I'm missing one, which I would love to pick up at some point, just to sort of finish this page. And then this is a full page of... I never know how to say this brand. Is it Flown, Flown? I don't know. Um, I know there are plenty more that I'm still missing because they've actually been like releasing some whilst Minhyuk's been in the military, um, and I would really like to pick those up. I just haven't really seen them anywhere, so I probably just need to look a little bit harder, to be honest. Yeah, keep on working on that. But for now, I, I like that everything, you know, fits on this whole page and looks really good, I think. I also have, like, larger non-album stuff in here, so FanCon, that's a fan kit. Um, Polaroids from, like, DVDs and Caesar's Greetings and stuff like that. Um, postcards. Everything's sort of just, like, shoved in here, to be honest. Like, these are all just stickers from Shape of Love. Um, it's, like, the bookmark from the MX University fan con. I think that's from one of the photo books. Um, I completely forgot I had that on the back. Uh, again, that's I think from the DVD. It's from the fan club. Um, these are the photo book, like big postcard things. Um, again, fan club. And the MX agent postcards. And also this little thing, which I think is also an MX agent thing, probably. That's why it's there. So yeah, quite a lot of like random postcards and stuff like that for Minhyuk. Then the like the last bit of this binder is the stuff, like basically the rest of my Monster X collection. So it starts with the sets where I ended up collecting like full group. So I did 
Um, I did an OT5 set of the No Limit Jewel Case cards, because I just thought they were super, super cute. And I did the same thing for the Polaroids from Shape of Love. So they fit really nicely in in this little, like, layout. It would be nice to have, like, a show new card to put here, but I haven't really worked on that. But I do think that would be something nice to do. But then we moved to solos. So for their solos, I have them in, like, debut order. Um, so obviously we start with Kihyun. So I have all of his Voyager, like, photo book cards. And then the only card I'm missing from his, like, jewel case and keynotes is his Toast card, which is not a surprise at all. Um, and then we have Youth, so these are all the photo book cards. And then, still missing most of the key nerves and one of the jewel case cards as well. Um, then my Juhon cards from Lights, so missing two photo book cards. And all of the, uh, all the jewel case and keynote cards, unfortunately. But that, again, is something that I really want to work on in the new year. I decided that, like, collecting all of their solos would be a fun way to sort of keep me going through Minhyuk's enlistment. You know, I didn't want to have no Monster X cards to collect because that would be really, really quite sad, I think. Um, so yeah, this was this was a fun little thing I picked up to keep me busy. Then we have Chang Kyun, where there were a lot of cards and I found it very confusing. So I ended up not quite collecting everything for Chang Kyun, but these are the photo book versions. And then these are the metal poker version cards and the blue poker version cards and then like the sort of more concept like cards and the IDs. So I've collected most things but I'm not collecting the American press cards or the jewel case cards. Um, just those have been a nightmare. I don't even want to think about trying to find them so I'm saving myself the trouble and just not bothering. Um, but you know it's been really nice to collect Chankyun. Then Shonu and Hyungwon, so thankfully they had nine cards per member for the Unseen, so I was able to do like a full nine pocket for each each boy. Um, slow progress on these, I would say, but you know, slow progress is better than no progress, right? Again, it's another thing to work on. Um, and also, we're anticipating a Shonu solo, so that's going to be really exciting, and that will will, you know, go here when that eventually happens. Uh, but then I just have, like, a couple of, like, bigger inclusions from their solo albums. So, from Youth, and then it's just a Polaroid from The Unseen. A couple of, like, Juhon's ornament things, and Hyungwon's little, like, folding thing. I don't, I don't even know what to call it, but, yeah, one of Hyungwon's inclusions from The Unseen. So, yeah, that's all I've got in my Monster X collection. So I love collecting Monster X. They are one of my old groups. Aside from EXO, they are my like longest standing old group. I'm just, I'm very, very fond of them and I really enjoy collecting them. So that's, I mean, that's why I've got so many binders for them. So for 80s, I have a cute little collect book from the Snowman Factory merch, which I also have this little keychain thing on which I think came from, I think it came from San's, like, standy, like, acrylic stand from the, uh, Break the Wall pop-up shop, but I can't even remember now, but it's cute, so I put it on there. But this, I just keep all my, like, extra 80s sort of pops and non-album cards from other members, so we have the cutest pink Songkwa card, which... I don't think I'll ever give this up. It's just so, so, so cute. I think it's from the Summer Photo Book. Yeah, I love it. And then we have a Yosang. That's a Fever Part 3 pop. I think it's a K-Town pop. That's the Yes24 pop from Movement. Uh, Yosang and Mingi's. What were these? Were these the US exclusives from uh, Witness? Then Yosang's pop-up shop card. His, like... Europe exclusive, as if you spent over, I think, £80, you got one of these. I spent enough to get three of them. Um, I didn't pull Sans, kept your Sans, because I think it's a really, really cute card, and it's good memories from the pop-up shop. 
Then I have this little Jung Ho Pub as well, which is, I think, around Make Star from Movement Era. And yeah, that's all we have in here. So more room to collect random stuff from ATs, which I know I shouldn't do, but it's ATs. I love them. I'm probably going to do it. So you might be thinking now, why are we looking at an ATs spin off album? Well, you see, this was what I would consider to be a failed art project, craft project, whatever. Uh, I saw someone had like made one of their extra spin off albums into a binder, and I thought, huh, how hard could it be? Let me give it a go. Um, it worked average, I guess. The only problem is, is the binder mechanism doesn't like stay in place, so it's held together through like tape and string, um, which means that the pages are a little loose, but I don't know. It stores stuff, so it it does its purpose. So I keep the little like slip cover thing on it. Um, and this is this is what I use basically for my 80s album cards from members that aren't in my top three, and also like when I'm not collecting OT8 sets. So I have everything by era. Yeah, you can see this has just completely come out, but it's fine. You know, I tried my best. It didn't work, but I tried my best. Um, so yeah. I have quite a lot of like extra 80s cards that I've picked up from various eras. Some of these I pulled, some of them I just really wanted because they're just so cute. You can see that I have like a lot of Hong Joon cards, that's because he's my fourth bias. Um, but yeah, this has just miscellaneous album cards up until, up until Outlaw era, I think. Um, yeah, I didn't end up collecting, like, extra stuff from Outlaw. I feel like I have my hands full with everything else. But I love these cards. I've thought so many times, should I downsize them? But I don't want to, so, yeah. So now we see my, my 80s collect book and A5 binder. We can finally go into the big 80s binders. So this is my top three binder. And it houses all the album cards. So we'll just go straight into it. So, I mean, if you've watched this channel before, you have probably seen a lot of this already. But, you know, my top three for 80s is Yosang, San, and Uyung. San is one of my alts, but Yosang and Uyung are also a big part of my bias line. And I could not help collecting them. So, yeah, collecting all their album cards. Um, need to do a lot of work on some of Yosang's older stuff. But aside from that, we're doing pretty well, I would say. Um, anniversary cards, I'm trying not to worry about it too much. Then, Fever Part 1, we are also not doing amazing with, but, you know, yeah, it's a work in progress. Then we have Fever Part 2, which this is a really special era for me, because it's the era that I actually started to stand 80s. So, yeah, I'm very, very fond of this era and these cards. Like, this was the first era that I ever completed all of Sans cards for, and it's just very, very special to me. Then, Fever Part 3, which, this is when the, uh, that OT8 collecting urge kind of set in for me, because I just remember looking at the template for all these cards and thinking, oh no, they're all so cute. You know, now, now I collect Top 3, so it's better than Top, like, better than OT8, isn't it? But it's still a big endeavour. Uh, then we have Fever Epilogue, so, better progress on the diary version, but not so, not so great on the A version especially, but it's alright, we have, this is another one of my goals for next year, is to, you know, work on back collecting for top three, but, you know, once we get to this point, it's kind of a lot more consistent, I would say, there's not as much back collect, so, we have movement, and we actually have our first full page there. Then I'm still missing this Uyung diary card, but that is okay. And his Z version card as well. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll get there. Then the ID cards. Uh, I just need to find Uyung's blue ID. So that's, that's nice. And then this is the point where I started to do some, like, pop sets. Um... So because there were the Digipack cards, which I know I'm still missing, Uyung's 
but I wasn't going to have a page just for the digipacks, so I decided to do a pob set. I'm not sure if I want to do a second pob set to properly fill out this page, but for now, I do quite like this little six layout. So yeah, I collected one of the Make Star sets uh, for the top three, and I think it's super cute. Then we have spin-off era, so obviously I collected OT8 for the blanket cards, I think most people did, and I cannot blame them because these are just the cutest cards ever. Um, but then I also ended up collecting OT8 for the Witness version, because um, I did enter the like Hello82 London fan sign. Um, I didn't get in, but I had plenty of copies of the Witness version, so I ended up with enough cards to almost complete OT8. Uh, I'm just missing, what, four cards now? Yeah, four cards. So, you know, I thought, why not? But then, these are from like the, the poker versions. Top three is all, all complete for that, which is nice. Then we move on to uh, Outlaw. Um, so again, starting with my OT8 sets, I wanted to collect OT8 for the unit cards. It's not coming along as well as I hoped it would, if I'm honest, but, you know, we'll keep working on it. It's basically the only thing I have left to work on for Outlaw. They're just very cute, you know, ATs have never done unit cards in their album before. Of course I was going to try and collect OT8. Um, I'm still missing one Leung from the A version, but that is okay. Digipack cards, we're doing a lot better than we have been doing. Um, still missing a Saturn and a Yosang. It does slightly bother me that this Yosang is the yellow back card, but I don't know, it doesn't bother me enough that I'm going to not store him in my binder, if that makes sense. But then the Z version is all complete. And then for the platform cards, which have been the bane of my existence, to be honest. So we are only missing three platform cards now, and they are all off this page. Um, I'm just glad that we've like actually made progress here, because these have been a lot. I'm very glad that we're not doing platforms the same way that we were uh, last year for this current era. And I also have the stickers in the middle there. Um, and then these are all the image cards and the QR cards as well. Um, I have actually managed to secure the last couple of QR cards that I needed, so I can stop worrying about this, which is nice. And then my pop sets, I ended up with way too many, I ended up with six, and that was not my intention at all. But I think this is a mini records set, that's the Make Star set, this is an Everline set, this is another mini records, I think Make Star 2, or Sound, no this is Soundwave. And then these are the, um, like, European exclusive cards. I'm still missing your songs, but that's okay with me. And then we have Will. Um, so I still don't have most of my Will albums. I only have my Digipacks. Um, obviously shipping's been a little slow recently. Things have only just started to arrive from like people's KIDs. So yeah, I'm expecting to get those in the new year. But for now, I do have the Digipack cards, because the so the UK Digipacks came with four cards, so I've kind of matched various cards with whatever like album concept they fit best with. So if those ones, nothing here, but I have secured all three of like the normal Digipack cards, so that's excellent. You know, nothing here, and obviously I don't have my platform albums yet. Then for the Polaroids that come with the platform albums, I do want to collect OT8. Whether or not I actually end up collecting OT8 for these Polaroids, I don't know yet. Then the stickers. Uh, obviously at the moment I only have the Digipack ones, but that is fine. And then we already have a whole page of pop sets. So, you know, there goes my plan to not have six different pop sets for top three again this era. But... Can I complain? Really, like, these cards are just so cute. And yeah, that that is my top three binder. So, it's honestly pretty 
hefty at this point, I feel like. Um, I don't know how many more eras this has left in it. With the rate that ATs make comebacks, I'm not feeling particularly secure about it, but I don't know. We'll we'll have to just wait and see how we how we get on next era. So this is my second ATs binder, and this is where I keep all of my San pobs and merch and stuff like that. So yeah, it's another big binder. But I have his little like season's greetings thing as a cover. On the back is the Break the Wall like photo set poster thing. So I collect Sans Pobs from Fever Part 1 onwards because previous eras was when they just did like the MMT Pobs and they are insanely expensive and I refuse to pay those prices. So yeah, I collect from Fever Part 1 onwards and I'm happy with that. Um, I am a fool because I decided to collect everything. I think it's coming along decently, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. That's Fever Part 1. I am really not missing that many cards. Like, I'm pretty proud of how it's going. Fever Part 2, we actually have a full page. Uh, then missing a couple of Part 2 cards there, and some here as well. Um, you pre notice, but I try to like group them by outfit or concept or whatever, um, just to make them look nice and cohesive, the same way that I do with my Monster X collection. Then we have Fever Part 3, which this was where I started to get overwhelmed with 80s pobs, and that I tried to cut down and only collect a nine pocket per era. But I mean, you can see how well that one's worked out for me. Yeah, I just can't help myself. Sans Pops are so, so cute. It's a shame that they're so expensive, but I've been very patient, and that's why I have so many of them. Then, I like to have, when if, like, you know when near the end of an era, he'll dye his hair a different colour? Yeah, I like to have a page dedicated to that hair colour. So I actually have two pages of blue hair San cards. Um... But I love that it like worked out perfectly so I could do my spreads and have things looking all nice. Um, so then we have Fever Epilogue, which the satisfaction of having a full page. I love it. Then more Epilogue cards. This is one of my favourite cards ever. I kind of wish I had an OT8 set for them, honestly, but you know, I don't have that kind of money. We do not have OT8 pop set collecting money. Then we have movement, so love that we start with a full page. Then all movement cards. There was a lot of movement pops as well. Movement was a little stressful, shall we say. Another one of my absolute favourite cards. KQ Shop pop from, uh, from movement. I'm so fond of Blonde San, like, I mean, he suits every hair colour, but he really did look very good with blonde hair. And then, yeah, this is my last page of movement pobs, and this one's all themed around, like, tour outfits, which I think is a nice, nice, fun little idea. Um, and then we have Spin-Off, where I have, like, a full pop collection. I don't have like the US exclusives, like all the store benefits. I am absolutely desperate to get my hands on Hug San, but you know, people like to overprice cute cards and I am not paying a fortune for him. But you know, I do have Pink Bunny San, so it's not all bad. Then we have Outlaw, which is a little bit of a mess, to be honest. I believe everything is, like, now set up, but there's a lot that I'm missing for Outlaw. I feel like I just got burnt out near the end of the era. Not even near the end, like, halfway through, and missed a lot of stuff that they were dropping. But I have, you know, an alright amount, and for stuff that I knew was going to be super cute, like the Make Star Cat cards, obviously, I, uh, joined to go for those, made sure that I had them secured, because I was not missing out. So yeah, there's there's a, there's a lot of stuff that I'm missing for 
outlaw. Uh, I'm really hoping we have like a big break between Will and whatever era comes next, just so I can kind of catch up a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. I haven't set up for any of the Will pobs yet. I like to wait until we're a little further on in the era so that I can work out like the best setup, considering how I like to kind of group my cards and keep the concepts together. So yeah, I'm gonna wait and then I'll set up Will Pobs. Those are all my Pobs. So then we have a couple of OT8 sets. So this is the OT8 uh, Lightini set, which is so, so cute. Um, and then also the OT8 Break the Wall like, Tour DVD as uh, from the, the Blu-ray, um, which I did buy. Of course I bought it. I bought it. I think it's a super cute OT8 set though. I'm really happy that I have this. Then my little unit card collection. So I've said it so many times, but I adore unit cards. So I have a full little spread of those. Um I like that like the OT8 cards are in each corner. And then what's fun as well is that we have, you know, units with each member of my bias line. I don't really have like a, a fifth bias in ATs. I feel like once we get past Hong Jung, everyone's sort of on like an even level. Like I love them all. Um, but this this Jonko unit is super 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 cute. I'm hoping to have more ATs units in the future. Uh, it's just a shame that a lot of those cards end up being kind of expensive. But I love what I have so far. Then season songs, I'm still missing two of like just the normal album cards, but I do have the two pobs, so that's nice. Then my little Japanese collection. I don't collect everything for Japanese. I'm not bothering with the older stuff because it's really, really hard to find. So I start from Dreamers, just have a couple of cards there. And then these are from uh, Beyond Zero. Uh, a couple of like the pobs as well, like the, the hollow pob there. And I have some Paradigm cards, which the only thing I want to get that I don't already is the HMV, like, holo card. Uh, but aside from that, I'm happy with Paradigm, and I'm happy with Limitless as well. I don't feel like there's anything else I need to get there. And then, these are my, like, merch cards for San. So we have, like, the Anniversary cards. That's from the Treasure photo book. These are all Wonderwall merch cards from... Viva Part 2. Uh, these are the Sub K Polaroids. That's the that's the season greeting card from 2021, I think. Um, that's from the drama that San did with Jango Songkwa and Yuno. And these are like the Sub K merch cards from Viva Part 3. That's the 2022 season's greetings. These are from the uh, Ode to Youth photo book. The 18E fan kit. Um, that's and that's a sound check card actually. That's from the Mernal collaboration birthday merch. The pops that they did with the platform versions of all their like old albums. Um, that's from the 18E room store. One of my favorite cards ever. Gamer San from Seasons Greetings. I have bought a copy of like, the 2024 Seasons Greetings, because I refuse to go through, like, hunting for those cards again. Um, the fact that I have Gamer-san is honestly insane to me. So yeah, I'm not making that mistake again of not buying it. Then the Valentese cards, and a couple of the Snowman Factory ones. And then just a little page of tour cards from the, like, the photo packs that they do and stuff like that. And this is, like, one of the 18 his own, like, exclusive cards as well. Um, yeah, so I don't collect, like, loads of merch stuff for San. I wish I could, but 80s keep us so busy with, like, pretty frequent comebacks and so many rounds of, like, pops and fan signs and lucky draws that, you know, when merch drops, I just do not have the time, the energy, or the funds to, uh, really commit to it. So yeah, I do what I can, and I'm happy with how it is at the moment. And then I just have some like bigger inclusions. So that's the anniversary postcard. Um, this is like a little like promotional poster thing from Limitless. Um, snow Manufactory postcards. Uh, more Snow Manufactory. That's the eighteen fan kit. Seasons greetings. This is the Polaroid from the Blu-ray DVD. 
Um, I haven't even bothered trying to trade it, to be honest. I do think it's a super cute Polaroid. I would like to have the San and Yuno unit, but to be honest, the Wee Young and Song Ha one is so cute that I can't really complain about having it. Then, these are from the you got all like photo kit things, and more of those post cards. These are the post cards from the Blu ray. Um, they are absolutely stunning. Yeah, I wouldn't normally store stuff like this in here, but they're just so pretty that I had to. And then we have the postcards from Outlaw. So I never realised that I was missing, you know, until I was like, you know, checking through everything for this video. So I need to find Yuno's. Um, it's kind of crazy that I didn't end up with his. But, you know, aside from not having Yuno, I have everybody else. I have the full 38 set minus Yuno. And I do think I probably want to collect all the postcards again from Will. I don't know. I'm a, I, I like a postcard. And when you get pop and inclusions in like every group order, you know, there's a lot of potential to get the missing postcards. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But then this page is just like the little, little ID cards and stuff. And that is everything that I have in my AT's collection. So I love this collection very dearly. I've spent a lot of time on this, especially in the past couple of years. It's become like one of my biggest collections and yeah. I love it very much. I love 80s a lot, as I'm sure you've all probably noticed. So, for Shiny, I collect Kibo and Taman and then OT5 for solos. Um, but yeah, I have this little A5 binder um, with this keyring, which is from their 13th anniversary. Um, but yeah, I think this works nicely because I collect, you know, two members. I like having them in this, in this layout. So, we start with Lucifer and Sherlock. The fact that I have both of their Lucifer cards is insane to me. Pretty sure Lucifer Cubum, I got him this year, and yeah, it was a life-changing <laughs> moment for me. Then we have Misconceptions era. I am still missing this Taman card. I do have a dupe of this Cubum. If anyone would like to trade, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, I'm desperate to, to bring that Taman home. We have Everybody and Married to the Music. I just keep a little Everybody like bookmark thing. He's on the back there. We have Odd. Um, one and One. I am still missing Taman's other photo card. Again, if anybody has him, please let me know. I'm so desperate. Like, I'm glad I have his baby card because that one's also hard to find. But yeah literally they're the only two cards that I'm missing for my like older album collection. We have Story of Light. This was the first Keybomb card I ever got. I love it. I'm so 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 fond of it. Um, then more Story of Light. Then we have some group cards. So to fill it up I added in this group card which is from I'm Your Boy and then we have the Story of Light uh, group photo cards. So I have all of those. And then, this is from the Beyond Live, and I need to find something else to put in this slot here. But they do have other group cards, so we'll get there. There are group cards from, like, the older Korean albums, but they're, like, a bigger size, so they won't fit in these pockets. So yeah, that's why I don't just have those. Then we have Don't Call Me. Um, all the photo cards from that. Then... So the jewel case cards, and then these are fan sign cards. Uh, normally I wouldn't keep like non-album, well, I wouldn't keep like merch or pre order benefit stuff in this binder, but because I have both Kibom and Taman, I thought it worked quite nicely. Um, then we have Atlantis, and more like fan sign cards. The fact that I have a full set of these is, again, it's crazy to me. And it's the only one where I've like double-sided because the backs of these cards are just white. So yeah, that's the other two fan sign cards. And then these are their standee cards from Atlantis. Then we have Hard, which I'm still working on my Hard collection. It's taking some time, but we're, we're making some progress. So we have the group cards, and then the... which version is this? The runner version? Then the maker version, which I only have one card for and the Dreamer version. 
then that's the player versions at the top, but then the S minis at the bottom, still missing Tamins, I really need to find him. And then for the Digipack set, I decided that I'd collect full group. I wanted like a full group set from this album, and yeah, the Digipack one looks so nice and so like cohesive all together, so I have that. And then also at the back here, I do have a couple of Jonghyun shiny album cards. I would love to have all of his shiny album cards, but they're just, they're, they're very expensive. Um, this one, I know, is one of, like, the most in-demand ones, and I actually traded, I traded one of my, like, non-album Taman cards for him, and I'm so happy to have him. But the rule that I have for myself is that I will pick up, like, extra Jonghyun cards if I ever see them for a good price. So yeah, it's not a collection I'm really actively working on, it's just, like, a slow little... It's a little side project for me, and I'm always happy to have more John Hyun cards in my collection. So for Shiny, I have another collect book, and this is where I keep all my non-album Taemin cards after I downsized this collection quite a bit this year. So we have this cute little keyring thing. This came from like some sort of Kibun merch, but it's just cute enough that I thought I would add it to my Taemin collect book. So. We start with this, which is one of my favourite Taemin cards ever. Like, this was such a high priority card for me for so long. And then, even though I did downsize my Taemin collection, I just, I could never give this up. So, we have that. Then, his want, like, hollow card from the standee. And a bunch of merch from his concert. Um, so, some of these are, like, light stick cards. Uh, photo book cards etc. I don't know, there was a lot of merch for this concert. Then we have a couple of Super M cards, so that's from the pop-up shop, I think that's from the, like, the Beyond Live brochure or something like that. Um, that's a shiny photo book card. It's from the Jinro merch. Then that's from Shiny's Beyond Live. That's his standee card from Advice. Then these, I think, are both, like, anniversary cards. Um, these are Never Gonna Dance Again, like, concert cards. Then that's from his fan meet. That's a hard pob. And then the two plushy cards. I think this, again, was like a... I think this might have been a fan meet card. And this is from the anniversary merch, I believe. Um, so, yeah, I actually don't have that much room left in this binder. Mm, I have more than I thought I did, actually. Uh... I am still collecting, like, bits of Taemin merch, but nothing as intensely as I was before. But I do also, at the back of this binder, keep the uh, the Japanese cards that I ended up keeping. Just two of my favourites. I would still like to get... I guess it's, it's his Winter Wonderland and, I think, Sing Your Song. Those two cards are so cute, and I would really love to have those, and then just call it a day with Taemin's Japanese cards. Because, yeah, shiny Japanese collecting was hard enough for Kibum. I really don't want to go through it for Taemin as well. So that's why I downsized. But, yeah, I love this little binder. I love this little collection. All right, so this is our second to last binder. And this is more of my shiny collection. But these are all of, like, my big inclusions for shiny. Um, it's in one of these, like, really big binders. You might have to bear with me when I flip through it because the... Uh, the rings are, like, a little too thick. So it's actually quite hard to turn the pages. But, you know, we get there eventually, it just takes a bit of time. So let's just get straight into it. So, it's all in a bit of an odd order, but I'll try and explain, like, what things are and why they are where they are. So it starts as almost like a little bit of a cover thing with the big, hard poster thingies. Um, and then we start with, like, Kibum's shiny album inclusions, so I have his little pop-out things from One of One, uh, his Atlantis postcard, and then these are the hologram postcards, which I love, very very fond of hologram. Um, we need more Kibum Japanese releases if you ask me. Um, yeah, his whole discography is impeccable, and his Japanese discography is just as good as everything else. Um, then we have his Bad Love postcards, and one of the little, like, collector card trading pack things that I just kept it for fun. 
more bad love purse cards. And then these are the gasoline purse cards, which are all like double sided. Um, then the bigger gasoline purse cards that came in the. I think these were the ones that were in the VHS version. And then killer purse cards. So, like, as you can see, I sort of start with yeah, the album inclusions. And then we start to get into like extra stuff. This is one of the Superstar purse cards. And then this is one of the SM Town purse card thingies from a very, very long time ago. I'll say that. Um, that's a Shiny World purse card on the back. Um, and then a couple of like the Japanese like photo prints. Um, some Polaroids down here. Then purse cards from the uh, Catch Me If You Can musical, which I also have the like the program from that, which I'm super super happy to have. Um, these are really special to me. These are the um, like the One Fine Day purse cards from when Kibum went to London. Obviously, they're special to me a because he was in, you know, he was in the UK, but also. Um, I don't know, it was one of the first, like, shiny variety show things that I actually watched. Yeah, I really love that show, so I love having those little postcards. Then we have the Polaroids from everybody. The rest of those Polaroids here. Uh, the Polaroids from Odd. Uh, a couple of the, like, uh, Shiny World Japan fan club, like, photo prints. These are, I think, more Shiny World postcards, probably. Yes, they are. They're Shiny World 5, 4. And the uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors like fan club set. Uh, these are a couple of the stickers that came from the like, Bad Love sticker set. Um, that's the Don't Call Me film slide. These are like the big poster thingies that were in the Season's Greetings from, what, 2018, I think, or 2019? Can't even remember now. Um, I have like the postcards for those as well, and the Polaroids. Then these are the postcards from The Shining. Uh, a couple of like photo prints from the face. And then the Keyland Polaroids, which are some of like my favorite things that I own. Um, I'm just absolutely obsessed with these, I think they're so cute. There's another like photo print thing. This is from I think the 2020 season's greetings. Uh, stuff from the Beyond Live. And more Beyond Live postcards. Then the rest of this is Beyond Live as well. That's the Universal Music Japan like pub from Winter Wonderland. It just didn't fit anywhere else. That's why it's kind of in a, in a four pocket with the rest of the Beyond Live stuff. These are the, like, postcard and little, like, holder things from Bad Love. A um, bunch of Grocks in the Keyland merch. It's all the, like, lenticulars, the ticket, the little film strip. Then, postcard from the AR ticket. That's from the SMCU AR ticket. Um, and then there's the actual, like, ticket and little like post card thingy majiggy. Um that's from Grox and the Keyland, that's from the Seasons of Greetings photo pack. Then the post cards that came with that photo pack. Then I have the gasoline uh post cards and holders. Uh goat in the Keyland merch. So like the Lenti, the ticket, little post card. Stickers, the stickers are so cute. The photo pack stuff from SMCU. And then as well, AR ticket, that little mini postcard, that's a little like gasoline pob. I don't even know what store that came from, but I have it. Um, from the Seasons Greetings photo pack. And the postcards that went with that as well. And then the little four cut from the pop up shop. So, yeah, I have a lot of like random sized Kibum stuff. I've tried to slow down with the amount of like 
random big stuff I get for him, but there's still, you know, there's quite a lot. But I also, of course, have some Taman stuff. So I use his little, like, Atlantis A4 print as a little cover. And it's got the hard, big post card on the back. So I have his one of one pop out thing, Atlantis post card, both of the don't call me post cards. Um, I keep these little Atlantis pop out cards here because I don't really know where else to put them. Um, then I've got stuff from Taman's solo albums. So the one standy, these are from Never Gonna Dance Again. And so are these. That's the fortune card pack from his tour. Uh, that's postcard from Move. Never gonna dance again. Postcard. And another one. Then the advice postcards, which I think I have all of them actually. Yeah, I do. So that's nice. That's all his like album stuff. Then his Shiny World Five postcards. The uh, Japan Fan Club Rock Paper Scissors packs from Shiny in Wonderland. Um, Beyond Live stuff, his Don't Call Me film strip, AR ticket from his fan meeting. This is the deco set from the Beyond Live, um, which I got for the photo card because I think the photo card is the cutest thing ever. But, you know, I keep the deco set here as well, because I'm probably never going to use it, but it's nice to have. Um, and then a couple of standees as well, so the Atlantis and Advice ones. I do also have one of his Super M standees, but I keep that on display on my shelf. The little postcard and the message thing from his um, AR ticket set for the fan meeting. And those are all the big inclusions that I have for Shiny, so this is my final Shiny binder which contains everybody's solos and all of my Cubum cards. So basically everything that isn't a big inclusion or a Korean album photo card from the whole group. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can see how big this is. This binder is huge and it is my pride and joy. This binder is everything to me. So we'll just go straight into it, I think. It's always hard to even fit this in frame properly. But I have everybody's solos to start off with, so I have my Jinky solo photo cards, uh, so voice and then dice, cutest Jinky card ever, then circle, I am still missing the photo book version cards, but I have everything else. I will say circle is probably my favourite album of 2023, I just absolutely adore it it never gets old for me it is such a comfort like jinky really released the perfect album but there's all his solo cards then we have my jung hyun collection so i'm only missing one more she is photo card and that is kind of surreal to me that i have everything else again this has just been like a long a long journey i've been very patient with it but i love my little jung hyun collection i'm very very proud of it and then I keep Cubum, like, all of his stuff all together, so we jump straight to Mino. Um, still missing a few chase cards, but, you know, we're halfway there. And I also keep one of his um, anniversary cards here, because I pulled it from my, my trading card packs, and it is just too cute for me to let go of. So it lives here and fills up my chase page. And we have Taman's solo collection which obviously there is uh, quite a bit of so yeah we've got ace press it move more move cards and move repackage want the one kinos up at the top um never gonna dance again and more never gonna dance again and advice as well um I would love to find something to fill this space, actually, because I did decide that for Guilty, I'm just going to start like a fresh page. My Guilty albums, I believe, have been shipped now, actually. I probably won't get them for another couple of weeks, but yeah, I don't have any of my Guilty albums yet, but we'll be we'll be getting them soon. I've like loosely set up, um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what my pulls are like and what I need to, what I need to work on after that. 
Um, then we have my Shiny in Wonderland cards, which... This collection, I really don't know what I'm doing with. It's quite difficult to complete, I feel like. I made really good progress and then sort of hit a bit of a block. So I've tried to collect Taemin and Kibom's cards. I think I've done better with Kibom than I have with Taemin. I do prioritise like finishing his cards first, so... You know... It's okay, but... I would like to have this collection complete one day. For both of them, because... I do quite like the way that it looks. I don't even know if anybody cares about these cards anymore, but I think they're fun. I think they're cute. And then we have my Kibum Japanese cards from Shiny. Um, so I have everything here. And yeah, like I said, I used to collect Taman's Japanese cards as well, but then I just... The stuff I was missing, especially the Superstar cards, I just felt like I was never going to get, and it was stressing me out, so I dropped them. And I'm a lot happier for it, to be honest. Like, I love that I have a complete, like, up-to-date Kibom Japanese collection. The next page is, like, shiny album merch cards. So, stickers from Odd and from Story of Light. Um, I think this one's, like, the wallet card or something. It's the Hollow from Don't Call Me. And then this is like the um, Universal Music Japan pop for hard. But this this works as well because it's all sort of like concept cards. You know, I don't really want to keep selfies on this page, but concept cards I'll keep there. Then we have hard pops. So I have all the hard pops, which is wonderful. This page is fully complete. And then these are the fan sign cards for hard so i'm missing a couple i'm missing the with new fan sign and the other like event card as well but aside from that we have everything which is wonderful this is my page for like smcu stuff so we've got the 2021 album and then 2022 i'm really surprised that we haven't had one this year i honestly thought we would but we didn't get one, so I guess it's not happening anymore. And this is, like, merch from the SMCU stuff, and also from, like, the winter concerts that they do as well, and the pink Christmas cards there. So, sort of various SMCU merch, basically. Then we have kind of the start of my solo section, I guess. So we have my two heart cards, which, man, I love two heart. Like, Delicious is still such a banger. It is so, so good. Yeah, I'm just kind of really fond of this release, so I love that I have those cards. And I also have the uh, School Oz, like, musical cards there as well. But then, for solos, obviously, I continue to collect everything. So we have all of the album cards from Face and I Wanna Be, including the Kinos there, and also the Cash V cards. I keep on this page to just fill it up. Then these are the, like the extra cards that came with the Kino. So I just have those all here. And then we have Bad Love. Yeah. So I sort of mixed like the selfies and the like character cards all together to make some nice little nice little layouts there. last page of Bad Love album cards. And then these are all the uh, Bad Love stickers. Uh, this is a replica card of the, I think it was like, there was 500 of these stickers that were in the Bad Love albums. Uh, obviously I did not get one, um, and I could not afford to buy one either, but somebody made a replica, so I have that just sitting in the middle there. And then these are like Bad Love merch fan sign cards so these are from the uh the postcards these are the fan sign cards and then these are both from the little acrylic key rings that he did then we move on to gasoline which i feel like is where things started to get a little bit crazy with a lot of like merch and fan signs and stuff and has uh yeah kind of taken us to where we are today yeah so these are all like the normal album cards um, and then the, like, random trading card. Collector cards, that's what they were called. The collector cards, and the little, like, character cards there as well. 
and then I think this this is a pub, and then everything else is a fan sign except these, which are both from the purse cards. And then these are I think these are the unboxing event cards. This came from the like original boxy. Then there's stuff from like the sort of gasoline merch as well. I can't even remember what this came with, but yeah, definitely gasoline merch. Uh, then we have Killer, so all our album cards there. Um, I'm still missing one S mini card, which is insane to me. I really need to, I really need to pick that one up from somewhere. Um, so yeah, I need to need to get on that. Then these are the cards from like the QR version and the stickers as well. And then our pobs and fan sign cards. I'm missing. I think I'm missing more than one card actually, technically. Like I don't have the unboxing cards from Killer, uh, and I would very much like to get them. I just haven't really seen them for a price that I am uh, prepared to pay. But yeah, I would like to get this this last fanzine card, just to fill up my page. And then, good and great, so my albums are on hand with my group order manager, um, but they're not sending until the new year because of like lost mail and stuff. So. I did join a fixed slot go for good and great, so I should have all the pobs. I'm pretty sure I asked for pob and inclusions, so I'm hoping that I will have most of the cards that I need. And yeah, we'll just sort of see how we get on. I haven't set up for all the pobs because I'm just going to wait until I have it all on hand and work it out from there. Um, but so far the only thing I do have is this like one random event card that I picked up. Um, but yeah, everything else should be arriving to me soon, hopefully. So then we move on to anniversary merch. So this is all 13th anniversary and this is 14th anniversary. And then we move on to the absolute chaos that was 15th anniversary because there was just so much merch. Like, so much. Because they had the online drop and the uh, pop-up store as well. So still a couple of cards that I'm missing, but not... Not too much. And this is all complete. I do love all these cards though, especially like the plushy cards, they're just so cute. But those are all my anniversary cards. And then we have concert stuff. So this these are all like shiny concert things. This is Shiny World 2, that's Shiny World 5, that's uh, SM Town. That, that's a Superstar SM card. That's the Shining Kino card, and these are the clear cards from the Shining as well. Yeah, then we have a Keyland card. Um, that's the Into the Light, like, photo book thing. Uh, Beyond Live, and then these are from the Shiny World 6. And then I have all my, like, other Keyland merch. So these are all from Grox in the Keyland. I am missing the other, um, like, big brochure card because for some reason i don't know why you would do random one of two cards for something like a concert brochure but they did so i don't know if i'm ever gonna find that card but i have a filler there for it just in case you know i live in hope a guy can dream then these are all the like fortune cards from keyland from goat in the keyland was it yeah goat in the keyland uh, so yeah, I have all of those and like all of the message cards as well. A couple of dupes that I put here just to fill out the page. And then other merch from Goat in the Keyland, and that's like a Japan fan club exclusive card. Then we have SM merch and like other merch collaboration stuff. So this, I still to this day do not know if this is like official or what. I've never seen it on a template or anything, but I don't know, I have it. It's from like an SM exhibition. It's, it's nice to have, I'm not going to complain. I do have the Taiwanese press of um, Sherlock. I think that is the SM Museum card, but honestly, I don't even care. Like, I'm happy having any version of that card. We have a bunch of like, uh, Coex stuff. And the same, just various. SM bits of merch, um, 
like SM Cafe stuff, and that's more Coex stuff. That's from the Olive Young collaboration with Taeon. That's from the Jinra collaboration. I think these are Olive Young cards as well. That's the Bad Love Jinro stuff. That's from Espoir. Um, and the Antique Hand Mirror stuff, which that's like the craziest merch that SM has ever done, to be honest. Like, who was going to use an Antique Hand Mirror? And these are from the Killer slash... from the Gasoline slash Killer uh, Jinro merch. And that's his birthday merch from this year. And we have Season's Greetings. So I think I have every year of Season's Greetings in here. Um, I hope I do, to be honest. So 2015, 16, 17, 18. That's um, the fan kit card, I believe. The Ace fan kit. And also, so is that, actually. That's 2020, 2021, 2022. And then these are all 2023, and I believe, yes, these are the other 2023 cards. And that's actually everything that I have in my Key One collection. Um, I have ordered the 2024 Season Greetings. Um, I've also ordered all of the merch that came with Good and Great, all of the extra hard merch that's come out. Um, basically anything that will have Key One Space on, I have ordered. Um, that's how I like to collect him. He is my number one ult. So, of course, I'm going to collect everything I possibly can for him. Because I just really love him. And I really love this collection. I am really, really proud of it. Uh, I'm proud of my entire collection, but my shiny collection in particular is very, very special to me. Alright, I thought I'd find us a nice little, nice little spread to, uh, to end on. But yeah, that has been it for my end of year 2023 entire photo card collection flip through um if you have any questions about like any of the supplies that i use or what any of these cards actually are then you know drop them down in the comments and i will reply to you and let you know um i would imagine this video has ended up being extremely long um but i really hope that you know you've enjoyed watching it i'm excited to be able to like look back on this in the future and see what my collection Sort of used to look like. There's a lot of work that I want to do in 2024 and I am excited to keep collecting and keep working on everything that I have shown so far. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!